So guys, how we doing? Dime J here, and today, what a day of football, man. What a day. Both great games that were on today. The Dortmund, um, Atletico Madrid game, and this PSG Barcelona game that's obviously going to steal the headlines. Obviously, that, honestly, that PSG Barcelona game was absolutely amazing. What a game of football. Um, we're going to dive into it. Barcelona had control. They were up 4-2. They had control of the game, and they threw control of the game away, obviously, when we roll into it with the Rahul's red card. Now, I looked at the Rahul's red card. When a Rahul comes across the guy, right? When you come across a player in the modern game, it's going to be a red card. It's it's you when you collide, when you when you touch them and they're through on goal, you can't touch them. You literally cannot touch them. You have to let them go, or you have to win the ball. You got to win the ball. If you don't win the ball and they go down and you touch them or you try to hold, them, or you try to do anything in today's game, it's going to be a red card. Because they're through on goal, it's a goal, goal scoring opportunity, and you're basically stopping the goal scoring opportunity, which results in a red card. Um, now that's where the tide turned for Barcelona for the worst. Because after that, everything seemed to fall apart. Um, the game just turned on its head. The belly ended up scoring on Barcelona <laughs> once again. I think he scored in the last leg as well. Then Vitinha scored. So here we are, we're level. Then they get a penalty. Obviously, not a penalty. For PSG, right, with Cancelo, when he goes across him, when Cancelo goes across Dembele and he side tackles him, he's not winning the ball. Dembele's turned. He's not facing the goal. When Cancelo goes down to the ground, you're taking a risk every time. You, you, When you go down on the ground like Cancelo did and he clipped Dembele's feet, it's a penalty. And, and you know they're just going to get it. You know they were going to get it because he touched Dembele's feet. Once you wrap the feet up, it's a wrap. And they gave the penalty. Obviously, Mbappe is going to bury the penalty in Mbappe fashion. Yep, it's tied up on aggregate. Now it's 4-4. Now, or was that 5-4? I think I'm getting the scores mixed up. 5-4, 4-4. But yeah, I, I think um, PSG took the lead. And then Mbappe put salt onto the wounds um, and made it 6-4 in the 90th minute. And Barcelona was stretched. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, obviously, Xavi got a red card. I, I, thought, I thought the referee was going to send off all their coaches. Because it started with Xavi. I think two of their other coaches got red cards. The referee was just giving out red cards. Um, the game just flipped on, on Barcelona big time. And now they're out of the Champions League. I don't know how good they're doing in La Liga. I'm assuming they're probably within the top four um, of their domestic league. But now that Barcelona are out of the Champions League, I mean, that's pretty much their bread and butter. And they're out. And honestly, it's their own doing. Like, the red card is a red card. The penalty from Cancelo was a penalty. I don't know what the referee got wrong. I really don't know. I didn't watch the whole first half. I'm going to keep it a buck. I watched the second half, but I went back and looked at a raw holes on um, foul. That's a red card. He's coming across him. If he's last man, it's a red card. And he touched him, and he especially because he collided into him. So that's even worse. They didn't even have to really go to VAR for that because, I mean, he collided right into him. It doesn't matter. They, they're going to give you a red card. You're, you're impeding... Um, a goal scoring opportunity. And that's always going to be a red card um, in the modern game. But um, what a game of football, man. Honestly, what a game. And Mbappe's shining as usual. So PSG will be in the semifinals again. So it looks like Borussia Dortmund now. Um, Atletico Madrid did go out. What a game that was. I got to watch the highlights for that because that seemed like that was a good game. And then tomorrow we have um, Arsenal and Bayern Munich and Real Madrid and Man City. So all these teams are going for the, for the Champions League trophy. Like, when I watch these other games, I'm not worried about managers. I'm not worried about players. I can just sit as a neutral and just watch two teams head-to-head -head battle it out. I did see some, you know, Barca fans in the comments um, of the stream that I was watching or whatever with the game one. It's talking about rigged. Please, if, if if you're telling me, right, if a Barcelona player was through on goal, like, let's say Lewandowski, and um, Marquinhos comes across Lewandowski and runs into him, in the outside the 18-yard box, Lewandowski's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, right? Marquinhos is last man, and he runs into Lewandowski and knocks him down. You're going to say that's not a red card? Give me a break. Give me a break, man. Come on. The referee didn't do much wrong. And you know I'm not the one, st I'm not the one sticking up for referees because referees are, these modern referees are straight garbage. And probably the ones back in the days as well. But come on, man. If you even touch them in their last man and they go to ground... The referee really has no choice. <laughs> like it, it's it's gonna be a red card all day. So 
there isn't really much to complain about. I mean, yes, Barca are going to feel hard done by. They're going to say Dembele went down soft. If Barcelona in the same situation, they're hitting the ground as well. I mean, this is just how it is, man. This is how it is. The players are going to dive. They're going to cheat. They're going to do everything they can do to win. This is competition. These players want to win. They're going to do everything they can. Trust me, if there was an advantage on the field or anything, they're going to utilize that advantage. Any little advantage that these teams are going to utilize. And if you think they don't, then please, you're naive. Anybody would. If there's an advantage. But I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section. What do you guys think on both games? Um, I'm not going to really comment on the Atletico Madrid Dortmund game. I did not watch that one. So, if you guys did, please let me know what you think about that game. That game seemed to be insane. I, I mean, they kept showing... It was scoring all... I think Dortmund scored two goals in like two minutes or something. Some crazy stuff. So, I will definitely be tuning into that. And I'm pretty sure Atletico Madrid were in control as well. And they fell apart. So... Yeah, both of the Spanish teams out of the Champions League. And it's going to be interesting tomorrow to see if Arsenal go through against Bayern Munich because they're going to be playing at the Alliance. And obviously, you got Real Madrid and Man City. You know that's going to be a good game. So um, I'm going to go Man City to go through, and I'm going to go Arsenal to go through. I feel like Arsenal are going to pull off an upset. I really, really do. You know, because Arsenal have played Bayern Munich before, and they've been punished. So who knows? We, we will see, though. That will definitely be a good game. Um, I'm, there'll definitely be some extra time. I think those two games are going to be huge tomorrow. I'll be making videos on those. Hope you guys did enjoy this video on today's games and analysis. Remember, nice you guys, and I'm out. Peace out.